Okay. Today we're gonna take the rust off of these old casters. They've been sitting around a long time and I didn't oil them, which was a mistake. And now they've gathered quite a bit of rust here on the wheels. So I'm gonna take that off of there. So those wheels are ready to use when I'm start a project that needs them. Water and Arm and Hammer Super Washing Soda. Now this is not baking soda. You don't want to use baking soda. It's a different deal. We're going to use the washing soda. I guess I got maybe a oh, half cup in there, about three quarters of a gallon maybe. And I've got about a half cup in there. And I'm going to use my old Century battery charge that I've had for a good number of years. I don't even remember how many, but it's been around a long time. And uh, we'll use that for our DC source, source of direct current. If you try this at home, don't use alternating current for this. It's got to be direct current. Alternating current, you might get a kind of shocked by that, what happens if you try to use that house current. This will be our cathode. We'll just set that across the, across the top of the pan. And we'll hang our parts from that that we want to take the rust off of. And I'm going to cut a piece of angle iron for the anode, sacrificial anode, which it is. And the electrolysis action will take the rust off of there and move it over and put it on the piece of angle iron. And that'll be that. I had this old piece of angle iron sitting out there waiting to get used for something someday and I said, hey, this would be a perfect use for that. We'll use that as our sacrificial anode and, and we'll throw it away piece by piece as, we, as it gets eaten up and picks up all that rust off those other parts. So I got her in a bandsaw and I'm going to cut it right there about the right length. So I can get a lot of anodes out of this thing, probably six, seven of them. But I'm not going to do that much de-rusting. So I'm going to cut about that much off. And we'll use that. Okay. Over now. There's a piece of angle line that will be our anode. That will be the positive terminal of the battery charger of DC current. Current will flow from the negative to positive pole. Of course, the positive pole is where the rust will all collect. Then when we're finished, we we'll have to throw this piece away because it's going to be completely ruined. But that's the price you pay to get the rust off of it. Pair three or four of these old casters. Okay. Probably just as well throw the damn casters away. Oh well. Here we go. We got one of the gears in there. We got her hooked up and running. I put her on 12 volts to see whether or not the automatic thing would kick out. That's not, so I'm going to leave it there as long as it'll run. And uh, a little bit more voltage is a little bit more current running through there too, so that's what we'll do. You can see those bubbles. Getting a little action in there. I'm not stirring it. That's just the action of the electrolysis. You don't want to do this in the house. By the way, you want to do it outside with plenty of fresh air because those bubbles that are bubbling off of there, that there, that's hydrogen gas. Yes, sir, that's, that's nothing to mess around with. And the last thing you want to do is blow your house up because your wife would not be happy with that kind of action at all. And she's just going to beat the band. We're going to let her sit here for about 24, 24 hours. Then we'll come back and we'll see what we've got. In the meantime, she'll just boil away. Generate hydrogen out there to counteract all the carbon from those coal plants. Yes, sir. Okay. See you in about a day. Okay, gang, it's the next day, and our electrolysis is pretty well stopped here. 
See, it'll continue until it gets all the rust off over there to the anode, and then it'll quit. It won't take the base metal that you're de-rusting. So you can see maybe here that we were sucking in about two and a half, three amps before. Now we're down to zero. So there's nothing going on there. So I think we're done with this one. Now we'll see what the results of our of our little job were so far here. First we'll take a look at our anode. See what we got here. All right. Yep, we got some rust there building up on the side of this poor little baby. And we'll see what our gear looks like. Let's disconnect the power. Okay, so we can take it off the bowl. I'll leave that one on there. It's kind of holding them separate. Take a look there. That's actually... We'll clean her up and we'll see how she looks, but she's looking like a lot of that rust has disappeared. Okay, we'll take a close look at it here in the sun. We got plenty of light. Now, didn't really realize it was rusted underneath the paint too, so it took a lot of the paint off. There's still a little rust there. I'm going to dunk it in there again, see what happens. The paint just peeled right off when I cleaned her up. And it's got uh, most of the rust off the, off the uh, wheel itself on the surface of the wheel. A little bit yet where the paint was. The paint's gone and we got a lot of pitting but that won't hurt it for what it's used for and we'll wire brush that after we get all finished here. Then over here on the other side some of the paint is still on there pretty good so I think it didn't rust so much under there. I'll peel off as much as I can and then we'll give her another dunking. We'll see how she comes out. Very interesting. Here you may recall is how we started. This is the other wheel. Still got the paint on and I think it's rust under there too from the bubbling. Paints up bubbling little bubbles here and there. And the rust on the surface of the wheel itself. And it's pretty well, there isn't a lot of paint left in the inside there. The other one had paint still in the bearing surface. I don't know why. Maybe these wheels weren't used that much before they came off of the whatever they were on. Anyway, we'll go back and give her another dunk. After cleaning off all that paint on there and scraping her a little bit while we got down to the rust that was underneath. And sure enough, you can see our electrolytic action took off there again and we're going to be removing that rust that was covered up before. We'll see if it gets underneath whatever's remaining on the on the paint on the other side of the wheel. That looked like it was still pretty on there pretty good, so I doubt if there was rust right under that part. But we'll see. We're kind of experimenting. We'll just see what happens. Okay, it's the next morning now, Sunday morning. We're going to take it out again and see how we're doing. Okay, hang loose. We'll see what we got here. There's our de-rusted wheel sitting by a non-de-rusted wheel. we're going to do that next. It's the second one in line. And this one's looking pretty good. The rust is gone pretty much. We got a, still got a little paint on this side that evidently was, there wasn't any rust underneath. So we'll peel that off with a, with a wire brush and a couple little digging tools. Then we'll take the, we'll take the uh, wire brush to it and the wire wheel and then we'll see uh, how just a little bit more effort can get that baby just shining as 
sounded like brand new and then some. Alright, there it is with a little wire brush action. Not much. Stuff is kind of scaly and loose on there, so we hit her with the wire brush and the wire wheel and she's looking just like new now. And then we did a little coat of WD-40 on to keep it from rusting away again. Wiped her down real good and we'll put her away and over here. Started out on the second one. The electrolysis action is taking off again. You can see the hydrogen bubbles bubbling up to the surface. Away she goes. So that one will be number two. You want to oil them or WD-40 them or get them coated as soon as you can after you get the rust off or she's just going to rust right up again. We'll stick her in this zip lock bag now and there she'll sit till we use them for a project if ever. So guys, there you have it. How to get rust off of something you don't want to have the rust on it anymore. With a little of this arm and hammer or any other brand I suppose, super washing soda. All natural by the way. And a old battery charger, piece of wire and a old chunk of iron that you don't care if it gets sacrificed and used up as an anode and, and then just the parts that you want to de-rust. That's it. Now to do it for this one. I bet you're glad it didn't last any longer than that. Ciao for now.